The USC Wrigley Institute for Environmental Studies WISE, is an environmental research and education facility run by the University of Southern California. It is an organized research unit that encompasses a wide range of faculty and topics across the university as well as operating a marine laboratory at the edge of two harbors, California on Catalina Island approximately 22 miles 35 kilometers south-southwest of Los Angeles. The USC Wrigley Institute has specialized programs in environmental microbiology, geobiology, ocean biogeochemistry, living marine resources including fisheries and aquaculture, climate change, coastal environmental quality and the urban ocean. The institute is also home to the USC Sea Grant Program, part of the National Sea Grant Program through the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. The mission of WISE is to "...inspire global environmental solutions through frontier research and education." The faculty conducts academic research that is both good basic science and directly relevant to the needs of society. The institute operates a K Gray educational program with extensive outreach into the major student populations of Greater Los Angeles. It also creates real linkages between the academic scholarship and decision making in society. Topic: <laughs> History of the Wrigley Institute. The Catalina Island facility centers around the Philip K. Wrigley Marine Science Center WMSC. This 14-acre campus on Catalina Island includes, a 30,000-square-foot laboratory building, a dormitory and cottage-style housing, a cafeteria, a hyperbaric chamber, and a large waterfront staging area complete with dock, pier, helipad, moorings, boats and diving lockers. The institute lies adjacent to Big Fisherman's Cove, a no-take protected refuge. In addition to facilities for researchers and graduate students, the campus is home of USC's Catalina Semester, a 15-week intensive program in marine and environmental studies, as well as educational programs for pre-college students, families, executives and senior citizens. It is one of a handful of marine laboratories in the United States that is specifically open to students and faculty from other institutions. USC opened its first facility on the island in 1965 after a grant of more than 14 acres square meters of land to USC by the Wrigley family. The Science Center is named after Philip K. Wrigley, the son of the founder of the famous gum company. The Wrigley Institute was founded in 1995 after a donation by William and Julie Wrigley. In the summer 2007, USC began work on installing six pre-built 48-ton, 1,200-square-foot Tuscan-style houses to the island to house prominent scientists and corporate executives so they would not be placed in the standard dormitories. The homes would add over 20 rooms, and transportation to the remote campus involved both barges to transport them across the 22-mile ocean channel and heavy cranes to pull the houses up the hill to their final location. USC provides regular semi-weekly boat transportation to the facility from the Southern California Marine Institute on Terminal Island. Topic. Current leadership and initiatives The Wrigley Institute of Environmental Studies is currently led by Kenneth H. Nielsen, an astrobiologist who worked for NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory prior to joining USC in 2001. In his research, he helped discover bacteria that create electricity. Currently, Nielsen and his staff are focusing research on four areas in their sustainability initiative energy, water, waste, and food. 
The goal is to become a testbed for sustainable solutions. Kelp elevators are one example of an energy research project at the Institute. Researchers grow kelp from spores in nurseries built from PVC pipes and lowered into the ocean. The kelp is then harvested and turned into biofuel through a process of thermochemical liquefaction. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Past leadership. Since the founding of the Wrigley Institute in 1995, the leadership has included Dr. Anthony Tony Michaels. Dr. Donald Monahan, Dr. Roberta Marinelli. Topic: Marine Protected Areas, Blue Cavern State Marine Conservation Area. The Wrigley Institute's Catalina Science Center is located in the Blue Cavern State Marine Conservation Area on the west end of Catalina. It is a no-take zone, though the Marine Science Center researcher can take fish and wildlife for scientific purposes. <laughs> USC Wrigley Sustainability Prize The Institute launched a pitch competition in 2017 for sustainable businesses called the USC Wrigley Sustainability Prize. Past student businesses have included Catapower, creates renewable biofuel and plastic from vegetable oil and won the 2018 prize Apirin, creates graphene by retrofitting power plants Interphase – increases energy efficiency for power plants Closed Composites – recycles the carbon fiber from airplanes and won the 2019 Prizeth Last two winners both had ties to Travis Williams and the Loker Hydrocarbon Research Institute. <laughs> Climate Forward Conference In spring of 2019, the Wrigley Institute partnered with USC Dornsife Center for the Political Future and the USC Price Schwarzenegger Institute for a two-day conference on the politics of solving climate change. The first day hosted prominent speakers on the Los Angeles campus. The conference keynote featured John Kerry, who helped negotiate the Paris Climate Accord. Both Republican and Democratic politicians spoke at the event. The second day a smaller group of speakers traveled to Catalina Island to host a workshop with USC student delegates. <laughs> Catalina Hyperbaric Chamber The Wrigley Institute's Marine Science Center in Big Fisherman's Cove on Catalina is the home to a hyperbaric chamber. The hyperbaric chamber is used as an emergency medical facility for scuba diving accidents, specifically for decompression sickness, the bends, and air embolism. Topic: <laughs> Wrigley Advisory Board Members. The advisory board has 21 members, including Wrigley family members. Phil Hagena, Chair. Terry Adams, Director, Executive Vice President of Saw Recycling. Todd Bauer, Executive Vice President, Guardian Group. Tony Budrovich, President and CEO of the Catalina Island Conservancy. Brock Dewey, Vice President, Dewey Pest Control. Nancy Fine Linda Boone Fetter, Principal, Samuelson and Fetter, LLC Andrew Littlefair, President and CEO of Clean Energy Bruce Kessler Sam King, President and CEO of King's Seafood Company Bob McKnight, CEO, Chairman, Quicksilver Diane Sanoski Montgomery 
Breen Murphy, Director of Client Experience, EP Wealth Advisors Kaylin Offield, Director, Wrigley Investments Maria Pellegrini, Executive Director, W.M. Keck Foundation Allison Wrigley Rusak, Vintner, Rusak Vineyards Stephen Scully, former founder and president, Scully Companies Andy Zinsmeyer Julie Wrigley, president and CEO, Wrigley Investments <laughs>